In this video, we will explore the latest updates in Cloud Dev, and we're going to walk through some of the examples on how to apply these updates. So I've already covered how to install and run Cloud Dev with other LLMs, right? So I must say the new updates make it even more powerful for building complex applications. All right. So here are some of the changes. So when you go to your change log dot MD markdown, so you're going to see this update, right? So Cloud Dev can now use a browser. So this update has a new inspect site tool and captures your screenshot and your console logs from website. So it makes it easier to troubleshoot. It makes Cloud Dev easier to, to troubleshoot issues on its own. All right, so you don't have to go through um, complex ways of troubleshooting these issues. All right, so it also has improved automatic debugging by sending only the uh, sending Cloud Dev only new errors that results from these edits. So you don't have to report everything or within the workspace, right? You don't have to import all the problems within your workspace, all right? So in here is, so you can now use the add in the text area to add context. So you can use URL, so add URL, you paste in your website. And it says you can use that pasting the URL for the extension and it fetches and converts that to a markdown. And it's useful if you want to give Cloud Dev your latest document. So you can just connect that to your URL and you grab all that is in there and you pass it to your to Cloud Dev and it's further, you can use that to further build or mend that into your applications. All right, and the next thing is you add problems, you so add you add workspace errors and the warnings, you give that to Cloud Dev to fix that. So you don't have to, there shouldn't be a back and forth about debugging where you have to go and copy the problems and you, you pass it to Cloud Cloud Dev. You don't have to do that. So by using this add problems, you add the issue there and it's going to debug that straight up, straight away for you. And it also has the add file. So you can add files, to, file content to Cloud Dev so you don't have to waste API request approving the read file. And also you can do the same with folders, right? So you can pass folders to Cloud Dev to perform further um, enhancement or whatever application you want to do. All right, so this is massive and really impressive with a cloud dev application. All right, so I'm going to walk you through some of these examples. Okay, our VS Code, right? So VS Code in here, you can go to extension. If you've not installed this before, you go to extensions and cloud dev, you install here, really pretty simple. And you should see this icon here. Okay, so we are going to be looking at, so I'm going to make, I've already run this, so I'm going to make a snapshot. I'm going to say, so this is the new. So before that, you go to your settings, and here you select your providers. There are several providers here. So I'm using Gemini, Google Gemini for this. You can use any of this. All right, so here I have my model, so you can select your model and I see Gemini 1.5 flash latest, choose that one. And so it has a free usage up to 50 requests per minute. So you can use that for free. All right, when that is done, I say done and I come to new. So I'm gonna say that I have, um, I have this snip. A snapshot of this browser console. So we're going to pass that to Cloud Dev. All right. So just, uh, so I'm going to ask Cloud Dev to explain these errors and let's see what is that. So, so here I'm going to look for the snapshot. All right. So I'm going to say that explain this error. 
my snip. So I'm going to say right, and here you go. It is analyzing the arrow of this snapshot of the issue. Okay, so it says I've analyzed the user's request and provided environment details. So the error message can find profile directory suggests that application is unable to locate. All right, so it's able to capture these errors and it is addressing that, um, which is awesome. All right, so it is able to perform these by just capturing the snap, the screenshot, and it is able to analyze the errors. All right, so I'm going to walk you through the next one. So now we have the option to use the URL. So I'm going to go to new task. So before you do that, you go to, so I did that already. So I'm going to show you how this came up. Okay, so I'm going to go to history. Okay, so here you go. So I said I use that, and you put in your URL. All right, so this is my URL. Okay, so this is the name of my bulk website. So when you do this, I'm saying that what is this about? And it's saying, giving me, highlighting the what the blog website is about. So it's Data Edge Hub. It's a blog that focuses on this, which is awesome. Okay, so you can use this context to further build your applications or ask further questions or get a lot of details, right? But the website or the link that you put there. All right, so it goes through, through the API and it gives this answers. All right, so this is great. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how you can solve a problem with this. Okay, so if you have a problem with your application, so I'm gonna show you how this is done. I'm gonna show you how you can fix the problem. Okay, so I have this app, which runs. Okay, so here is the script. Okay, so this is how you can fix the problem. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to here, and let's say I'm going to do this intentional, so I'm gonna take this out. So you see, you go to problems, and you see there are issues here. Okay, so this is how you do it. You go to cut, then I'm going to say problem. Problems. Okay, so I'm going to say, and you give that, fix this. And when you run it, I'm going to show you how this get fixed. So it's going to run through this, so you don't have to copy all these arrows and pass it to Cloud Dev. So you say, fix this all right so you can see in here it has written the code exactly and correcting that okay so when i put my t here you will see that the errors are no more found here Okay, so this is how you can, so it right, rewrites the code with the correct answer or the with the correct fixing to that. Okay, so now you can run files and I'm gonna show you how you can do that. So I'm gonna go to new. Okay, so this is pretty simple. So you can add files and folders to this. But in this case, I'm going to Going to add a file so you say at and you put a link to the file 
the look the directly to the file so you can run it here and that's it so you can ask any question or anything that you want to do okay so in this case i'm just going to run it and let's see it says i need to analyze the provided file and i'm going to say approve Okay, this is awesome. So it contains a research paper and it has analyzed that in for dialogue use cases, the paper discusses the pre-training process, fine tuning. All right, guys, I see this to be really awesome and amazing tool. And with the um, update, it makes it way really easy to build complex applications using this. All right, so I hope you found this video useful and you're able to apply some of this update to build complex application. Um, yeah, so let me know in the comment section how you feel about this update. And if you like this video, do well to hit the subscribe and share, like, and see you in the next one.